Hey everyone, it's Nina with ShalomMama.com and I thought I'd do a little bus update since I realized it's been several months since I've shot one. So, here I am standing in the stairs of the bus. So, as you can see, they still are the regular blue stairs, but our floor is all the way out now. There's our little book basket and right now our driver's seat is um, a storage area. So I've got magnetic curtains that we can pull all the way around at night, which is really great. And here is what we've deemed our cold storage area. We've got root veggies down there and beer. Um, for Christmas, Ian made this little stand right here for a Christmas tree and we put our presents underneath. Now it is my workspace. There's my computer and my printer, which I just broke yesterday. Lovely. Um, we need hooks in here, so I think that's going to be one of the next things that I try to get Ian to do because we need a place to hang our coats because um, the bus driver seat can, can only hold so many. Uh, sorry about the glare. This is our dining area. So these are our benches. Right now they're not upholstered yet. Hopefully they will be soon, but they're really great because they're storage benches. So you can lift them up and we've got shoes, games, school supplies. And then on the other side, we have backpacks and yarn um, and then my business stuff. It's really, really handy to have it all in the bus. Uh, here's where we store our little desk that Ian made me and our table legs because you can see right here is one area for table legs if we can get it out. Of course not because it's video. And so it's dirty, of course. Um, but there's one there, and then there's one there, and then we put the two table legs in. And we set up our table, which I'll show you in a minute. And then I can just put one table leg in and use that little desk right there, which is really handy. So here's the kitchen area. Um, we still need to get doors on and paint um, drawers and stuff. But other than that, it's looking really good. We've got to get the... Ian's going to build a cabinet up here all the way across, which will be nice. We'll have even more room, which will be great. And then he'll put in um, a little vent right there. And then over here, he might do the same thing. We're not sure. Right now, we're enjoying the ledge. It's <laughs> extra storage space. So if there's something important that I need to remember, I stick it up there. Or uh, holiday cards, fa takeout menu, you know, the important stuff. So we've got the knife rack up. That's nice. Kids can't grab the blades, which is good. They can't reach it. Um, this handy little storage area needs a drawer or a, a door to and to be painted because cold air comes right in through here. We have two refrigerators, um, which is working very nicely. We shop about once a month and then get fresh produce, you know, every once in a while. Um, nice little above the fridge space that holds a lot of stuff, thankfully. Um, here we've got... Our regular size kitchen sink, that was a must-have in here with, you know, our kids and our dishes. Um, and then, oh, I wanted to show you this. This is our stove with our counter. You can see there's cut lines on either side, so I move my water. Ian put this handy feature in, so when we're doing dishes, we have more counter space, and when we're cooking, we have our stove, which didn't get wiped up. And then back here, I don't know if you can see it, there's a little switch so we can turn the propane off in the back so the kids don't turn on the knobs and then have propane on the bus. So that's really, really handy. Um, have a view of our my parents' chickens. That's where we get our eggs. My TARDIS. Love my Doctor Who TARDIS tea strainer thing. So here's our stove. It keeps us nice and toasty warm. It runs on propane. Um, we keep it set at 65 degrees. Sometimes the front of the bus gets really cold, so we have a little space heater that we plug in sometimes up at the front. But this does a really great job of keeping the bus warm, um, even when it gets super cold. We store our table here out of the way because it's a pain to walk around in the front. So most of the time the table is up there. You can see the two legs, two places where the legs go on. Um, here is our shower. Again, we need hooks for the towels, but... Ian put in this handy curtain rod, so when we're not using it, it's up and out of the way. We saw this on another bus blog, and when we need to use it, we just pull it down and pull the shower curtain around. We've got um, privacy with the shower curtain, and then I have taken some blankets and put magnets in them, and those are curtains, so we have privacy when we need it, but for the most part, we keep them down so we can heat the bus. 
already have bath toys in there. Um, yeah, not a fan of bath toys, but we'll figure something else out. Here's our bathroom. We've got a little toilet. Um, this stuff will all be replaced soon, I hope, with a sink and a cabinet. Um, we've got some under storage there, which is nice. I'll probably put some hooks up on this wall. Um, here's the bunk bed area. Today the kids did not make their beds, but it's great because when they need their privacy, they will typically go into their bunk or go outside or go into my parents' house and visit with them. Um, plenty of spaces for them to go away to. My daughter loves to sit up in her, her bunk bed and draw and put pictures up there. And then back here is our bedroom area. So we've got a queen size bed over the engine block. Um, it's really cozy. In the back we put some insulation and a wool blanket over that back window because when it was really, really cold, that was really, really cold and nobody wanted to sleep by the window. So that's working. Um, it stays warm enough, which is nice. And then down here is where we keep our clothes. Each child gets one of the blue bins, um, and then Ian and I each get two of the smaller green bins, and it works just great. Behind those bins is more storage, um, which is where I like to keep stuff that I'm not getting frequently because that's a pain to get back there. So um, right here is where we keep our thermostat because it was closer to the heater, and it meant that our bedroom, our bedroom area was freezing. So now... Our bedroom stays warm and everything else stays warm. And then we have, again, a curtain that has magnets that will just stick to the top when we want privacy and it's really nice. Um, so yeah, there's our bus. It's coming along. There's a lot of stuff that still needs to get done, but there's a lot that we've completed. Today the project is putting that fan up. Um, so Ian's up on the bus roof right now doing that actually. So, again, thank you so much for joining me, and I hope to have a completed bus update soon. Bye-bye.